Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus here, and welcome to the Big Man Plays Big O New Terror. Yes. I wanted you to be wanted me to be what? But yes, we're playing a small fan game made by uh forgot his name. Um <laughs> uh but I'll post but the, the text will post in the bottom. But this is actually gonna be a double feature. It's gonna be two fan games that this guy has made. Hopefully on the road to making a full Big O fan game, which I'm looking forward to. But yes, we are playing as Roger Smith, and this is a small little thing where apparently Swartzwald has uh, called us down to, I think, what is it, Dome 7, I think, uh, to see something that will change everything. But Swartzwald, real name Michael Zabok, real name in the anime, that is, is uh, taunting us as Schwartzman. Welcome to my grand ostentatious stage, Roger Smith! My inner torment designed specifically for the puppets of this city. There is only one way to escape it. You have a decision to make, Mr. Negotiator. Will you escape this tranquil prison and prove you are a true Dominus? Or will you fail and end up as another puppet? Our controls are Enter to Bigo. To not summon uh, Big O, obviously. Space bar is the light. Controls left and right. Here's the odd thing, though. When you're using the light, you can only turn right. You can't turn... Okay, now I can. Except when walking. When you're walking, he won't turn left. So you have to constantly stop. He also has... If I remember what button it was... Aha! The... The uh, F key is his. Let me turn to the camera here. It's a shield. I probably just spoiled the first puzzle, but no well. Oh, and A is run. But our first puzzle is we have this little uh, walkway here. If we attempt to cross it just straight away, it will go into the water. How do we do this? Well, easy. Our watch reveals the true path. So we just gotta walk across that. Honestly, though, uh, oddly enough, the controls are better when you're just using the watch as a light. It's a, it's a weaker light, but it's still a light. Pardon? Thank you! But we now have another choice. We have a set of We have uh, three sets of doors to choose. One leads to. Uh, the next part of the puzzle. The other two are dead ends and you'll be stuck and be forced to start over. Now sadly the watch don't tell you this. It doesn't tell you this at all. You have to kind of trial and error this, but of course the middle one is actually the, the right one. It's Zaybox floating in. Come here, you bastard. I still call him Zaybox. Because if I keep saying Schwartzwald, it'll make me sound like I'm trying to order a Venus schnitzel. But yes, we have an odd thing here. Trying to light. We have a statue. Uh, uh, it's a strange statue fashioned in the form of Schwartzwald. With a poster behind it saying, There is but one truth. And a picture of Schwartzwald. On it. Now, if you try to go in any of these rooms, you'll end up in an open abyss, and then you'll have to start over. And each one of these other three hallways has the same thing. Strange form of swords fall. Now, I'll just show you the other way. We just... Fix Mike, uh, fix Roger Smith's running ability, which his running ability is a little awkward looking, if you can tell. But then again, this is a fan game. I'm not faulting the guy. This is actually I've talked to him. This is actually uh, something he worked on in his spare time. It's not really anything big. And of course, down this way 
is the elevator doors we entered, I think, yes. So, how are you supposed to figure it out? Easy. The watch. And all you have to do is run down the corridors. I can't remember which one. Yeah, just run everywhere because he, 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 he slows molasses. And in case you're wondering, yes, I will put a download link in the uh, description where you can get these. But yeah, so you're supposed to look for that. The One Truth Door. Which, when you enter, leads you to... Huh, there's Big Duo and the portal, but no signs of Swartzwald. Yes, we are now... Looking at big duo there, just kind of laying there, all white for some reason. But we're heading to the portal, which is that big flashy thing. And oh, would you look who's look who's waiting for us! You know what we gotta do. There was big, there was a big duo. So you know what we gotta do. Well, just because there's his car. And look who, we tried to get to our car and look what happens. Look who launches. Big duo. <laughs> I'm glad you came to see me, you lapdog of this corrupt. And of course it's time to say... Big O! Showtime! Big O! Yes. I don't know why some of the clips break like that, but... Yes, we now are... There goes our car driving into the foot of Big O. I always wonder if there was a way that locked the car in place. That way it wouldn't rattle around while he was... Because I should know... When he gets down to the foot after this and looks in his car, it's like, oh man, it's all wrecked up in here. <laughs> Big O! Action! And of course, our controls are A and F are punch, G is to block. Now we have to come over and slug. <laughs> like rock'em sock'em robots. And he's gonna fly. I love that music. But that's it basically. You uh, beat the game. That it, it was a very short game. You also have uh, links there where you can actually take get, look at some of his uh, production art. But it was a simple game of his. I, I like that. I wish it had been longer. Uh, a few gripes were the controls games, which I've already noted, and the the running motion of Roger Smith looks stiff as hell. But this is, like I said, a double feature. So now let's move on to the other part. And welcome to the second part of the Big O Double Feature, the Big O Bank Demo, which was also made by him, which is actually a far better, uh, very, f much far better rendering of the, uh, Big O, in case you can tell. Like, my god, look at that. The details. Very nice. But this one's easy. All you do is wasad to move, and the left, uh, mouse, hold it to slug. Right, uh, right, right mouse, same way. Gotta get a little closer here. slugged. <laughs> and basically you just gotta beat uh, Dorothy here. Also we have uh, we can actually uh, but uh, I'll be honest I don't like that. You can also uh, use you can also zoom in and out. 
Now, if you roll, now if you have a mouse wheel and you roll it back, you or forward, you can go into a range stance, where your left mouse button does a laser, and right mouse does. And yes, I just been damaged. So I'm like, and like I said, left mouse in range position uh, fires lasers. Right mouse fires missiles. Now here's the thing: while you are doing this, let me go in range and fire a couple, fire some missiles. The lasers, for some reason, just don't really do anything. But while you're doing this. You also have the ability, when you're in range mode, by rolling the mouse wheel forward, roll it back to go into melee, but if you hit enter while in range mode, and you have a full purple bar there... Let's see how bad you really are! Get this! That is, uh, well, actually, the name of this robot is Dorothy One. If you're not sure what the, who that is, watch the damn anime or read the uh, mangas. I'm pretty sure Pookie is the Seven News. This is one of my favorite big animes besides uh, Gundam. In fact, I dare say this is actually my uh, more favorite to me than Gundam. But yeah, we also have a block button, which I keep forgetting to use. Which he does with his massive arms. Get over there, bitch! <laughs> this is fe this is female robotic abuse here. Let me see if I can pound her enough. You can fire the lasers and the. Missiles at the same time, but the missile, the lasers do nothing except drain your bar, which I find very, very. Not much to do, just ban the missiles until you get a bar low enough, and then just far off the gun again. Let's see how bad you really are. This was his second work, by the way. The, the guy who made me. This is the second work, so you can tell he's really got a lot better. And he's still working on it. I really hope he does finish. I really hope he does make a whole video fan game, because this is just too awesome to not finish. But there she is. Beaten. Defeated. Punched. Crushed. And that, because it's a demo, this is kind of how it ends. You can kind of just look at the model of, uh, of, uh, Big O here, as you can tell. And you can still look at there. Oh, look, there's Roger Smith. We can also, uh, let's see, Z is the camera zoom, so we can go, ooh, look at that. that I swear, that is some damn good detail. Mouse roll to end, of course, there's a pause menu. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little look at the, this fellow's work. Again, I'll put his, uh, his uh, the link to the downloads and a link to his YouTube channel where he, uh, Shows off more of his work. I hope he gets this done. Really, I really do. <laughs> I really would love to see the finished product. But I hope you enjoyed this little look at the, a Big O fan game. The, the Big O fan game double feature, actually. Uh, hopefully, it'll be finished. And if, it do, if he does somehow, if he does at some point finish it, I will more than likely LP it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. And until the next, whatever the hell I decide to do, it's Big Fatty Plus. Sayonara. And remember, you know some mecha may have big guns, some may some mecha may have swords and bazookas, but only one mecha has two gigantic air cannons for arms, laser eyes, missiles, chain guns in the arms, and a chest cannon which will wreck your day. And it's um